Hi guys, just a little quickie. My voice is um, coming back to normal now, so I'm I'm almost out the woods of this awful sore throat and croaky uh, voice. Um, so we're back in business. Um, this is Dungeons Four. Now, if you you know been around this channel for a while, you know I love Dungeons Three. Um, I did a, a lot of streams on it and uh, I reviewed it. It was a great great little game. This is Dungeons Four. I didn't even know that there was a demo, but apparently there's a demo out. I downloaded it yesterday, and, and it's quite a long demo. It was about four hours. I, I did slack on it a bit, like, but um, EFK'd a, a couple of times. But, yeah, there's a, a decent-sized demo for Dungeons 4. Same kind of wit, same kind of humour. Yeah, it's quite funny. It's all right. It's, you know, it's not, you know, side-splittingly funny, but some of the things that said are a little over the top. I like the references to the Lord of the Rings and Henry V and all of that with the, the speeches, they were quite fun. Um, but generally speaking, the game looks great. It plays better than uh, Dungeons 3, which you would expect because this is a sequel. Uh, they have taken a few things on board. There's some quality of life changes from Dungeons 3, which I like, especially the spell menu, which is uh, not in your face uh, as much. So that's nice. And also when you're placing traps, for example, um, it doesn't matter if you don't have all the mats, you can still place like a blueprint of where you want that to go and your little snots will um, <laughs> will bring the traps to the... I think that's hilarious, the little, they're called snots. Will uh, bring the traps and place them down and build them when the materials arrive. It, it all seems a bit more streamlined than Dungeons 3, which is good because I thought Dungeons 3 was a bit of a fanny and on, uh, a little bit too much. So I'm, I'm happy that this is a little, just a little bit stri more streamlined. Um, it's a very dungeon keepery kind of game. If you remember Dungeon Keeper from many, many decades ago, uh, this is kind of a play on that. Uh, you have the overworld and the underworld, and you have to fight armies on the overworld, but they will come and send troops down to the underworld where you have to set traps to try and stop them getting to your dungeon heart because if they destroy your dungeon heart, it's game over, man. So it's that's the way the game actually plays. You build and expand underground, and then you send your troops up top to uh, destroy the um, lovely Pleasantville uh, little manor houses and things and uh, kill the objective, whatever that may be. You get four missions in this, um, showcasing pretty much the different types of units that you get, the, the Horde, the Undead and things like that. So it's, it is limited in what you can do with each faction, but you do get a mission of on each faction just to give you a bit of an introduction to, to Dungeons 4. So there you go, guys. Um, it's it's a fun game, what can I say? It's a fun little game to play and it looks really nice. Uh, you can download the demo now on Steam and I will be reviewing this whenever it comes out. I don't know when that is. I'll have a quick look now. I should have known that, but you know, I'm a slacker. 9th of November. 9th of November? Isn't that when Call of Duty comes out? Oh, I'm just going to... Such a professional. Call of Duty... Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3... Coming soon. Pretty sure it's the same time. We'll see. Anyway, I'll be reviewing them both. See you later.